Okay, in today's video, we're gonna go over weld processes, how to set them up and enter them into your weld schedules. So first things first, you're gonna go menu to the six setup tab. And the way that I'm doing that is just menu, where you can scroll down to six if you want. <clears throat> I'm already there on that, but this is what it's gonna pop up at the first, is you're gonna be your weld system. And this just has all your settings on there on what you want as far as your scratch start, which will be how much it goes back and how fast it goes back. If you ever stop a weld or something like that, your default speed, and this is what's gonna be in your weld schedule. And we'll, we'll run over that. Well, from Teach Bennett, run in, which is used on aluminum, burn back, all of this stuff. So you can go through there, change any of that that you want. So on your weld processes, so there's two things to Fannick and Lincoln, when you're running, you have a weld process and you have a weld schedule under that process. So think of the hierarchy as the process is the first and then the schedules are underneath of it. So the process is determining on what wire you're using, what, what uh, diameter of wire you're using, and so on and so forth. So to get to that, you've got your weld process right here. And we won't go to that first because we're gonna want you're gonna to need to have the welder on because you're gonna search in the library the welder to find what process you need. So we're gonna to go to the weld equipment. And this screen here also has some of timing. It's got all your timing settings on it. Um, generally, just the, the stock things that are in there. It also says your feeder in here and you can, you can even change that as well. Um, so on this, this is what we're gonna be. So we're Lincoln Electric, power wave with ethernet. On this one, we've, we've got uh, aluminum set up in this, but we'll just say that we're gonna weld steel. Um, and we want to search for the process, GMAW. Uh, search the process for pulse, yes. And we'll change our wire to aluminum. Which is already on that, sorry. We're gonna change it to steel. Okay, and you can hit the search button here, and this will give you every process with each wire diameter. And notice beside every process, you have a number, so 12. So like 045 rapid arc is 18. 22 is for regular steel pulse. So kind of get the gist of this. And this gives you all the steel pulse welding options in that power source. Now, if you have an advanced module or something that stacks on top, or an STT module, you'll have STT processes in here as well. So I'm gonna go previous on this. And the one thing that I didn't show you before that, so when if you hit the menu button on accident, you just hit previous, we'll go to type, just go to well process. Now see, we've I've already got some processes in here. And just like I was showing you, I believe you can have eight, yeah, eight processes on this. Now, if we wanna put that 22 in here, which was rapid arc 045, you can do it just like that. And now it's process number three. So just whatever process you're wanting to do, just have that selected. So see, I'm on uh, number four now. Process four is selected. Now I can go back oops, to my type, my weld equipment. And let's do that again. But this time we're just gonna put Let's just do a process number 20, which is just a short arc process. Okay, I'm gonna select that. Now, if I go back to my weld process, that 20 should be a number four, and it is. Now, if you get one in there that you don't want, all you gotta do is just hit this clear button, and then cannot clear process if it's selected, okay. So, we'll clear the one above it, or we can select the one above it, then we can run down and just clear that one. So I'm gonna clear those both out and select that. Since this is an aluminum setup, we do, definitely don't want steel in there. All right, so 364, so we've got two processes here. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over to my data tab, go to my type and my weld schedules. Okay, so notice you've got all of these weld schedules here. So the first one, I'm gonna go to detail on it. Now you see your process select here is one. Now, 
if you want to change that to your two, see it shows what it is, the pulse 4043. Now this one's pulse on pulse, same thing, 4043. So that is how that works. So if you're short arcing and pulsing at the same time or want something different, a different weld process in the same program or whatever, you just set these schedules up like that. So I'm gonna go back. So if I wanna do schedule two detail, so let me jump back real quick into this first schedule. We're on process one. I'm gonna jump back, go into this one. I'm gonna hit the detail button on it. I'm gonna to go to my wire feed speed and think of your wire feed speed as your amps. That's how many amps you're gonna pull. So I'm gonna go 275 on it. I think your trim is your volts. Your trim, the higher up your trim is, the more you're going to spray arc. The lower it is, the more you're going to short arc. So a good starting is usually one, but like for this one, I think we were at 1.1 on the other one. The Ultimark, um, as far as it goes, you'll notice it as your pulse frequency. So you, you can play with that. I believe it's, uh, let me try 10 in this. It's 10 to negative 10, yeah. So you, you'll be able to tell a little bit uh, difference in the sound of the weld you that because of the pulses per minute. So in generally a zero is a good setting. Now if you're welding thinner stuff, you might need to go up or down on that to get a better weld, okay? Your travel speed. Now this is something that is just for this weld schedule too. So if we wanna change that to like 50, on this and I'll show you that in the program here in a second so our delay time this is after the weld ends if you wanted to delay any there okay so we've got this process set up now let me go to previous now on this we're using run in okay so I'm gonna go to uh, go back here to type we've got our weld process tab here so for each process, which we have two processes set up in this, it's gonna have settings, just general settings about that process. So if we go to that, now you'll see pulse on pulse. Now watch as I scroll down here. Now, process select two. So five, your run in, so this will be process three. So these are settings just for that process and that will be globally, that won't be per schedule. This is just a global process thing. So the burn back, the higher it is, the faster it's gonna burn back, the more it'll burn back. The lower it is, the more wire you're gonna have sticking out. The wire stick generally leaves the same and on the fly is, uh, I believe you can hit the status button, or I'm sorry, the OTF button here on the fly. You can hit that on the fly button. And when you hit that while you're welding, you'll be able to adjust your amperage, your trim, and your travel speed on that. So I can just jump into that. I'll hit the on the fly. So you've got your command, which is your inches a minute. And that should be for your, one of these is for the well, you'll see it. So you've got your feedback on your, oops, on the fly. So you get your speed, your wire feed speed and your, your uh, voltage. So these will populate and you'll be able to just hit increase or decrease on those. And you can save them as you're doing it right here if that's something that you want to do but a lot of times you can go here and look at and see what these are doing versus the command that you put it in and then you can come back to this data tab go back to your schedules and adjust your wire feed speed and your trim so on this one we have it at 0.9 so i'm going to go previous go back to this one and you do you can do it all right here because these are the main settings that you're worried about technically your amps and volts so we can change that there. And uh, I'll jump back into this weld process one more time. Now, on this, when you change these, sometimes, and see you can even drill down into these as far as your detail. So like on this one, we've got our wire feed speed there. There's our trim. So we're trying to wet the, wet the aluminum first and we're delaying it 0.35 seconds. So sometimes this won't take effect until you restart. So if you ever change these settings and notice that nothing's changing, uh, go ahead and restart the, the entire controller. And for some, for some robots, R30IA and up, you can just hit this function button 
zero for the next, and you can eight cycle the power. And it'll ask you if you want to cycle the power or not. I'm just gonna hit no on that. So that's a little bit drilled down into that. Now we'll go into the program. So let me select, I've got a test one here that we've been doing. Okay, so this arc start one here, this is correlates to the schedule one. So that is our go to previous here, I'm gonna type, go back to our weld schedules. So that is this weld right here. That's what we're gonna do on arc start one. Now, we go back to the edit tab. If I change that to a two, now, let's hit enter, um, and I go back to the data tab now, that is this one. So those totally correlate. So now we're gonna be a totally different process than the first one. So go back, change that back to one. And you just scroll over, just enter, key it in. And we've got some weave commands in here as well, which we can go over those. Um, so on this right here, the speed. Now notice in this data tab, we have our speed back to the, our first one here, detail. We have our speed set at 35 inches a minute. Now, generally when you're programming and you hit this linear button, or you hit this, I'll go ahead and hit this weld in, um, arc end, you're gonna see that, that's gonna be the first one that pops up, it's just weld speed fine. So whenever you hit that, I'll go ahead and insert it into the program. If you don't, if, you, if you're just testing out welding or you're trying to figure out speed or you wanna be able to change it, all you have to do is scroll over to that, hit your speed, and then it instantly changes it in to inches a minute. Now you can also change this to whatever you want. So if you want millimeters a second, centimeters a minute, inches a minute, I like inches a minute. So we can change that to 15 like that. Or if you wanna just use your, uh, your weld speed fine, you can use that as well. So you just hit the weld button there. And that correlates right back to this 35. So that's where you're gonna be welding that on that if you leave that as weld speed fine. And that is whatever schedule is in there. So right now it's gonna be weld speed fine. And we've got our arc start there. Okay, one. So if I want to delete the line, I'm just gonna go edit command. And the way to do that and you just hit the next button. So the next button just scrolls you over to the edit command and you delete that. So, and you can also scroll up and scroll down if you want to block delete or anything like that. So I'm just gonna delete that out of there. And that is a little video just on uh, setting up weld processes and uh, get you welding you doing some test welds and stuff and, and you'll learn that you'll be changing your trim, your wire feed speed, your inches a minute to, to get the weld that you want. Hope it was helpful.